Those who live an epic life are the men and women who consistently demonstrate a spirit of boldness and adventure. They've come to the understanding that life is not a journey with the goal of arriving quietly and safely in one pristine piece. But it's a chance to jump on the throttle until it's wide open, to leap over, slide under, or hammer through the obstacles, to look fear in the eye and stare it down, and to rise up to meet the demands of big, epic goals. The ones that call out to you, come and get me. Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and you're in for a real treat, as you're about to learn the seven maxims for living a large, epic life. Let's get after it. If you ever wanted to live large, make the impossible possible, and unleash your greatness, then this message will help to prepare you to do exactly that. See, it's not just the championship athlete or record breaker that aspires to push their limits and become great. It's also the parent, teacher, and coach who wants their children and students to reach their full potential. It's the leader or entrepreneur who wants to create a culture that inspires excellence, passion, and innovation. It's the artist who wants to create a true work of art that moves everyone who comes in contact with it. And it's for everyone who strives to excel in their own terms, to set and realize personal goals, and to achieve their own defining moment of greatness. That's the reason why I created the Epic Life Manifesto, a powerful message designed to inspire anyone who wants to achieve their own moment of greatness and who truly wants to live large. Now I'd like to let you in on a big secret right here at the beginning. Whether you go on to listen to this entire manifesto or leave it behind and move on with the rest of your life, please remember this one thing. You only have one life and you don't have to live it the way that other people expect you to. If you really want to live large and if you're willing to make some changes in your life in order to cause it to happen, you too can take on any challenge and win or you can do anything else that you really want to do with your life. The only things that you need to give up are assumptions, expectations, and the comfort zone that holds you back from unleashing your greatness. So let's begin with the key word. What is a maxim? A maxim is a succinct formulation of a principle, a rule, or basic truth about life. Usually clever, maxims are like great sayings that are widely accepted on their own merits. Ben Franklin is the author of many to include early to bed, Early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. And an overused maxim of real estate is location, location, location. And Confucius offers one of my favorites. He who learns but does not think is lost. And in outlining the Epic Life Manifesto, the choice of the word maxim was intentional as an epic life is created by an epic set of principles. It's my belief that the best act of creation is self-creation. And while life does thrust epic challenges and opportunities upon us, the best opportunities for living an epic life are the ones that we create ourselves. It is my pleasure to present you with these seven maxims for creating an epic life. I urge you to embrace, inhabit and make them your own, and most importantly, begin to implement them today. So let's get started with maxim number one. Create a bigger, bolder future. To live an epic life, you must make your future bigger, brighter, and bolder than your past. However, your past offers great insights for creating an epic life. Your past is rich with experiences that are worth thinking about in new ways, and these valuable experiences can become the raw material for creating a masterpiece. So approach your past with this attitude, and you'll have an insatiable desire for even more, far more enjoyable experiences. Use your past to help you create an epic life and you'll separate yourself from situations, relationships, and activities that can trap you in the past. Those who live an epic life are the men and women who consistently demonstrate a spirit of boldness and adventure. There are those who are willing to challenge and constantly question even the existence of a comfort zone. They try new ideas, they test assumptions, they thrive under pressure, and they take the risk and actions that meeker people are simply too afraid to attempt. So when will you start living an epic life, and how will you do it? Do you really think it will materialize without a series of epic challenges, without your perseverance being tested, without you being pushed to your limits, tormented, and put through your own personal hell? In short, for you to unleash your greatness and live an epic life, you must seek out and rise to 
the great challenges that you thrust upon yourself. There is no other way. Training yourself to act boldly is not an easy task. But if you want to live an epic life, then it must be done. You may want to ask yourself why. Well, simply because you can't live large by sitting on the sidelines, nor by relying on the bold acts of others. Only the bold actions that you take for yourself will move you ever closer to your personal North Star, your epic life. That brings us to maxim number two, create bigger contributions into other people's lives. The definition of an epic life must include a contribution to the lives of others. And you do that by focusing your time and talents on helping others to face their fears, eliminate their dangers, solve their problems, capture their opportunities, and to maximize their strengths. There is no exception to this rule. Everything in life wishes to reward its contributor. In fact, every contribution that you make turns you into a benefactor, allowing you to enjoy the fruits of your contributions. As an example, by giving to the garden, the flowers reward you by blooming with bright, vibrant, and beautiful colors. By donating to your children's education, they reward you by becoming responsible, disciplined, and productive members of society. By working for your client's best interest, they reward you with loyalty and ongoing prosperity. By giving money to your retirement fund, it provides you with both peace of mind and an enjoyable final chapter of your life. And by contributing to the health and well-being of your body through exercise and nutrition, it rewards you with responsiveness, flexibility, longevity, and optimal performance. Those who contribute their time, their talents, networks, and personal experience will be repaid in one way or another. Although it may seem strange intellectually, the world begins to conspire for you as whom or whatever benefits from your contributions wishes to respond. The lawn wishes to grow, the muscle begins to strengthen, and as the student's mind expands, she will begin to repay you with her own successes, accomplishments, and contributions to others. The fact is, every institution needs performance, especially in the building and the developing of children, teens, and leaders of tomorrow. And if deprived of performance, all potential will decay and die. Therefore, to ensure strong families, communities, and prosperous businesses, a focus on unique and ongoing contributions must be the foundational philosophy by which you create your epic life. And maxim number three, create a learning environment. Learning ability, intellectual capital, and technical know-how are all intangibles. But these intangibles are among your most important assets. As everything you do to reinvent and update your knowledge allows you to stay in the game, competitively perform, and ultimately to live an epic life. It would be foolish to ignore the call for creating a learning environment as we discover more and not less need for new knowledge as we make progress in life. Lifelong learning rightly interpreted can have no endings and is inseparable from normal living as food and physical exercise. It must be supported and encouraged throughout the course of your life as a fundamental discipline, as well as the key to sustaining an epic life. A commitment to lifelong learning is more than just education and training beyond formal schooling. This framework encompasses learning throughout the life cycle, from cradle to grave and in different learning environments, formal, non-formal, and informal. The case for constant education with knowledge creation as its primary goal is fundamentally congruent with living an epic life. Propelled by the competitive imperatives of speed, competitiveness, responsiveness, and the need to innovate constantly or perish, learning is the essential hedge against extinction. If you think about it, knowledge and skills are perishable, both because they're applied all the time and because they can and do become outdated. This is why your ability to live an epic life is dependent upon constant reflection, a healthy dose of paranoia, and a voracious appetite for new knowledge. Perhaps the most important thing you can do to live an epic life is to know your strengths and to focus on them. To know your strengths and how to improve them and to know what you cannot or should not even attempt to do. These are the keys to lifelong learning. It's also the most strategically compelling task 
to which you should dedicate your life to in order to live an epic life. And that brings us to maxim number four, create higher standards. The first and perhaps the most important step in living an epic life is to elevate your game by raising your standards. So how do you do it? Well, the following two strategies are simple and highly effective. However, they require consistent and skillful application in order for you to live large. The first strategy is to create three lists. You identify all the things you will no longer accept from yourself, all the things you will no longer tolerate from other people, and then you list all the things that you aspire to become. If you have the courage to expect and demand more from yourself, and more importantly, if you have the commitment to honor these higher, nobler standards, you will fast track the results that you desire. And strategy number two is to change your limiting beliefs. If you raise your standards but don't really believe that you can meet them, then you've already sabotaged yourself. This is the biggest challenge you'll face in attempting to live an epic life. Why is that? Simply because you won't even try. You'll be lacking that sense of certainty and indomitable spirit that allows you to tap the deepest capacity that's within you. So your beliefs are like unquestioned commands telling you how things are, what's possible and what's impossible, what you can and cannot do. They shape every action, every thought, and every feeling that you experience. As a result, changing your belief system is central to making any real and lasting change in your life. And without taking control of your belief systems, you can raise your standards as much as you like, but you'll never have the conviction to back them up. See, the ultimate reason for raising your standards is to challenge you to become the person it takes to live up to them. And by doing so, you inspire others and you demonstrate exactly what it takes in order to live an epic life. Maxim number five is to create a greater appreciation for life. Success is a process that includes both peaks and valleys, but the one constant in living an epic life is the practice of gratitude. Gratitude heightens awareness and it expands your interaction with the world. And once gratitude becomes part of your nature, you begin to see the extraordinary connections between your successes and creature comforts and the talents and contributions of others. Consider the following. The farmer plants, waters, fertilizes, and harvests the tomatoes that you enjoy. The truck driver delivers the food to the market that you will soon feed your family. The baker kneads and bakes the bread for the sandwich that you'll eat for lunch. The engineer and the architect designed the bridge that allows you to get to work safely. The furniture maker's handiwork creates the furniture in your living room. The plumber fixes your leak, clears your drain, and plunges your toilet. The teacher educates and inspires your children to be the best that they can be. The customer provides the support that enables everyone to receive wages. The performer engages the imagination and entertains your senses. The seamstress sews the beautiful clothes that make you look great. And the physician and nurse help to bring your beautiful baby into the world. Now you pause for just a moment, you'll begin to think of the connections between people. You'll immediately understand the important role that gratitude plays in the creation of an epic life. We live in a world where we have much to be grateful for, if we would just stop and look around. It's quite humbling to think of all the roles that complete strangers play in our daily existence. Now you may be tempted to believe that an epic life is a result of karma, fate, design, destiny, or pure luck. But practicing the fine art of gratitude offers you the best guarantee of a large, successful life and legacy. Maxim number six is to create a joyful and playful environment. Living an epic life begins with an ideal emotional state, as your outlook on life is not determined by your circumstances, but by your focus. A joyful focus is joyful living, and a greater sense of enjoyment along with a playful spirit will automatically create a greater quality of life. The epic life is a joyful life, largely because joy is an aphrodisiac. Anyone who's experienced it will crave it again and again. Joy is contagious. It's a gift that we give to ourselves and that we spread to others. Joy is inside of us. It's a spirit that we liberate and find spiritually liberating. Those who live in, share, and spread joy 
possess true wisdom. Unfortunately, most people don't enjoy life, they endure it. They think that they can't be happy because of all the problems that they have and that life has to be perfect before they're happy. But a problem-free life does not exist. And if you're staking your joy in the absence of problems, then I'll tell you this, you'll never be joyful. Joyful living is truly living the good life. Our work along with the good things that we do with our personal time and bodies should be done because they're joyful, not because they serve some serious purpose. And if you're not doing something that is enjoyable on its own account, then you should look for something that is. Just as a scale is used to measure weight, it could also be used to measure joy. How would you measure the quality of your most significant relationships on a scale from emptiness to complete joy? The fact is no one should ever be involved in a relationship that is not completely joyful. And much like peace and quiet, joy and happiness will not come looking for you. It's a present meant to be lovingly unwrapped and one that you must seek out in order to live an epic life. And that brings us to the last maxim. Maxim number seven, create discomfort. Of all the maxims advocated, none is of more fundamental value than your willingness and your ability to create discomfort. In a very real sense, it's a precondition to all the others. See, living an epic life requires an enormous threshold of discomfort and inconvenience because of the many sacrifices involved. Therefore, you must always make your goals and dreams greater than your comfort. You must recognize that every act of creation is also a simultaneous act of self-destruction. The more positive, intentional, and comfort challenging, the better. Inconvenience and discomfort are part of the foundational building blocks of success. And every person who has ever been legitimately successful has formed the habit of doing things that others don't like to do. Unfortunately, our society has placed such a high premium on convenience and expediency that it's enabled weakness while also creating an inability for many people to perform at peak levels. And the acceptance of inconvenience and discomfort explains why people with every apparent qualification for success become disappointing failures, while others achieve outstanding success in spite of the many obvious and discouraging handicaps. In other words, we've got to realize right from the start that success requires an unconventional approach and a much different philosophical view. An epic life is something that is achieved by the minority of people. It is therefore unnatural and not to be achieved by following your natural likes and dislikes, nor by being guided by our natural preferences and prejudices. We have to accept that becoming uncomfortable is not a nuisance, but a necessity to growth, to excellence, and to living large. So continually strive for higher goals and achievement, and continually place yourself in a position where you have to grow, learn, and perform, and life will always be an epic adventure. Now, are you ready to step it up and start living large? Now, let's be frank. There's no point in pretending that choosing to live an epic life does not have the capacity to create a bigger, bolder future for you and your family. And while there's plenty of excuses, there's no good reason for you to procrastinate, to say you're not ready to take on the changes and the challenges associated with living large. See, a challenge is a form of finishing school, and by that I mean, once you're able to rise up to meet the demands of a challenge, You'll be finished with self-limiting beliefs, finished with settling for less, finished with excuses, finished playing a small game, and finished with living below your potential. See, a number of years ago, I had an epiphany, an awakening of my soul that has fueled my passion ever since. After experiencing a number of setbacks and challenges, which I did rise up to meet, I came to the understanding that life is not a journey with a goal of arriving quietly and safely in one piece but it's a chance to jump on the throttle until it's wide open, to leap over, slide under, or to hammer through the obstacles. It's to look fear in the eye and to stare it down, and to rise up to meet the demands of big epic goals, the ones that call out to you, come and get me. I now understand that choosing to live an epic life and rising to meet the challenges that that decision presents allows you to expand your capacity to believe in yourself. In fact, your ability to do so is the only sustainable resource that you have to astound yourself and to truly unleash your greatness. 
That epiphany led me to create the 100 Day Challenge, the world's most powerful goal setting program for rising to meet any challenge and for living an epic life. It's the perfect solution for the biggest problem faced by everyone, which is the need for more, better, and faster results in a highly competitive world. The overall concept is built around two motivational tenets. A fixed period of time, which is deadline driven, in this case, 100 days, and a strong desire to accomplish worthwhile goals within that deadline. The best part is that the 100 day challenge is appropriate for everyone who is through settling for less and who are finally ready to step it up and do what it takes to live large. Now I promise you, you're gonna love the 100 day challenge primarily because we focus on one thing, getting you from point A to point B as quickly as possible. And we're pretty darn good at it. In fact, the 100 day challenge has delivered jaw dropping results for more than 400,000 people and companies in over 80 countries around the world. So why wait another moment? Take the 100 day challenge at 100daychallenge.com and start living an epic life.